All right, guys, hey, I'm Adam from paintballshop.com here. Uh, we're just gonna run you through these brand new Gladiator air, air tanks today. So we've got six different versions of them, starting from the uh, alloy or aluminum A48. It's a 48 cubic inch, 3000 PSI tank, and is uh, coming in at $120 retail. So a great entry level tank. Uh, the main thing about these tanks is they have an infinite test life on them. So as long as you get them tested every five years, you can get them tested forever. You keep good care of them, keep testing them, keep using them, which is great. And it's actually unheard of um, in air tanks. Normally it was uh, like 15 years and you just had to, even if they tested fine, you had to destroy them. So that's our, uh, the A48. Now, um, Gladiator, Gladiate Air has two different versions of their 68 cubic inch tank. Uh, these are a carbon 68 tank. This is the standard carbon 68, so it's your standard size um, that uh, that everyone should be used to in a 68 cubic inch tank. Um, they're uh, 4,500 psi, 68s, same old stuff, you know that. But they've actually got this uh, this newer one. It's uh, the C68 as well, but we'll just call it the C68L, the C68 long. Um, it's smaller in its diameter this way than the 68, but it's also longer than the, uh, the standard C68. So hopefully you can see that there. I've got them lined up pretty good. Um, and as well, you should be able to see the, the size of the bottle as well. Now, we weighed these two, and I'll get into the weights of, this, uh, of these two at the uh, end of this video, because I got a big comparison of all the different bottles. Um, okay, so now we'll jump on to their top of the line. Uh, which is their ultralight series tank. Um, as the name implies, they're very, very light. So this is your uh, U48 peanut bottle. Um, it is the lightest one that they make, and it's also very, very small. I'll compare that to a, a 68 bottle for you. You can see the, the difference there. So it is a big difference in size. Um, if you're after the, the lightest, craziest setup, check out the U48. All right, um, on to probably my guess is gonna be their most popular bottle is the U68. It's the ultralight 68 cubic inch 4500. It's very, very light as well, and uh, it's actually shorter than your uh, standard 68, so I'll compare both of those for you as well. Um, so you can see the, the U68 right here is just a little bit shorter than the standard 68. All right, organize these perfectly here. And then on to their last one, which is the U88. Uh, this one here is for you bush ball guys or even the back middle guys or back row players that really want um, that extra capacity and extra shot count out of your tank. The U88 is the way to go. It's very light, holds a butt ton of air, and uh, will get you get you through the game uh, if you if you're shooting a standard sort of gun. You, you can get upwards of 2,000 shots off of a fill with one of these, so um, they're very cool. Okay, so let's go on to some uh, different uh, weights here. So your standard uh, Luxfer tank, which everyone should be used to, uh, we weighed, weighs 884 grams. So, uh, and then I'll go through the line. Your A48 weighs 1,142 grams. Carbon 68, which is your standard carbon bottle, 1,048. Your C68, which is the longer 68, just the standard carbon model, weighs 984 grams, which is a 230 gram difference between your two 68 uh, bottle tanks here. Uh, sorry, bottles. Um, your Gladiator U48 weighs 686 grams, so it's by far the lightest uh, one that they offer. Gladiator U68 Ultralight, 822 grams, and the U88, 970 grams. So uh, we also weighed a few regulators as well. Um, your Dye DTS regulator came in at 112 grams, which was the lightest regulator that we have. Um, and your standard Paintball Assassin, 68, uh, just uh, 4500 regulator, came in at 136 grams. So, you know, only about a 24 gram difference on those. Um, so now we're gonna go into the comparison 
And what we did was we uh, decided to make this video a little bit entertaining, so it's not just uh, about the air, uh, just just about the air tank. So what we did is we weighed up some cheeseburgers. A standard McDonald's cheeseburger came in at 112 grams, so we're just going to call it 100 grams. Um, so we'll do some comparisons now. Um, so we'll go for the uh, A48, the Alloy 48 versus your standard Carbon 68 was a difference of 72 grams. So almost a full cheeseburger. There we go. There's the difference between your uh, A48 and C68. Next comparison, the U48, which is the lightest one that we have, versus the Ultralight 68. So this is a comparison between two of the, the top uh, tanks. So uh, we'll, we'll just check that out. The difference there is 136 grams. So the U48 weighs 136 grams less than the U68. So that comes in at 1.4 cheeseburgers. So I'll put 1.4 cheeseburgers difference between those two. All right, next one was the U48 versus the, oh, don't run away on me here. The U48 versus the U88, so the two ultralights. There was a 284 gram difference between these two, so a pretty massive difference. That's 2.8 cheeseburgers. We'll get that out. We'll even be able to 2.8 cheeseburgers difference between those two there. Pretty big difference in cheeseburgers. All right, now the biggest difference, uh, we go from the, the Ultralight 48 to the Carbon Fiber 68. Um, so your standard bottle that most everyone's played with to the Ultralight 48. The difference was 366 grams, which is 3.6 cheeseburgers. Get that out there. Between those two there, yeah, I'll say that's 3.6. That's the difference right there, 3.6 cheeseburgers. Okay, uh, the big comparison, the Carbon 68, your standard 68 to the new Ultralight 68. So between these two here. So this is the new one here on your right. Um, standard normal 68 bottle that most of you have, have played with before. The main difference here is 230 grams. 2.3 cheeseburgers for these ones here. Pretty massive difference. All right. Um, the Carbon 68 versus the Ultralight. 88 so we're getting a uh, quite a difference in capacity here however um, as you can see from the size they are pretty close the ultralight 88 is only a little bit longer probably about three or four centimeters your difference there is only 0.8 of a cheeseburger that's our difference here between the c68 and the U88, there we go. Okay, um, and the last one was the C68 Long, which is uh, this guy here. C68 Long versus the Ultralight 88. So as you can see, very similar in size, except the C68L is a lot smaller diameter than the Ultralight 88, but there's only a 14 gram difference between these two bottles. So you're getting the massive amount of capacity extra, 20 cubic inches extra with the U88 versus your C68. And uh, that's only 0.14 cheeseburgers. So um, guys, that's it there. That's the difference, hardly anything. Um, check out these awesome tanks at uh, paintballshop.com. We're a distributor for Gladiate Air and we've got them in stock ready to go. Um, if you're looking for a new tank that'll sort of really make your marker feel really light, go the U48 um, and just stick like a, like a paintball assassin sort of regulator on it and you'll get this to be uh, a, lot, uh, a lot shorter 
and still manageable with this small bottle. So um, check that one out. And uh, I guess my personal favorite is gonna probably be the uh, U88, just because you're gonna get so many more shots and it's not really that much bigger than a C68. So there's a difference there. Um, minuscule difference. And the like we did the comparison before, it's only uh, 0.8 cheeseburgers heavier to go to the U88. So guys, check all these awesome brand new Gladiate Air Tanks out at paintballshop.com. And uh, thanks for watching.